In this challenge series, we create the fastest cars in the world in an alternate history timeline. What could have been if the Duesenberg family had continued their crazy legacy? Will we be able to continue in their footsteps and manage to break all top speed records while remaining profitable as a company? Let's find out in Automation, the car company tycoon game. For more info about this challenge and the series, make sure to check out the description box below. And now let's get into it. Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we start a very new thing after just having completed my 39 episode massive playthrough of the light campaign mode in automation. I now am embarking on something a little bit more let's say, uh, compact in scope. And I came up with the idea that I could make a challenge and post it to you guys so that you can play along. This challenge is the Killer Robs, the fastest car in the world challenge, which is all about, like the title would indicate, building the fastest cars in the world, but in a campaign setting and not any kind of campaign setting, but rather based off in Freenia and a uh, very high difficulty rating, uh, unless you don't want to uh, be tortured and then you can also choose to play it at, uh, instead of 2.0, which I'm going to play at, uh, play it at 1.5 or 1.0 if you so prefer. So what is this challenge about, you ask? Well, the theme is pretty simple. You take over the Duesenberg family production of cars before they went under. And now you need to continue their legacy to your best ability. The Duesenberg cars have been known for extremely high top speeds. And uh, let's just check here. Between 1920 and 1930, there was the Duesenberg Model J, which had a top speed of 191 kilometers an hour. In 1930 to 1940, they had a model which was the Duesenberg Model SJ, which had a top speed of 225 kilometers an hour. Compare that to the third car, uh, third, yeah, the third car in this list, which is in the next decade the fastest car after Duesenberg went under, was actually the Jaguar. XK120, which was just 214 kilometers fast. Well, the just is in quotations, obviously, but still, it, that was a, a downgrade, even though technology advanced massively in that time period. So, yeah, also there were this, was this, this tiny war and stuff, yeah, you know, so um, maybe that came in, in the way. Um, but anyway, so you are supposed and to uh, make the absolute fastest car in the world for each decade. And now on screen you should be seeing not only my campaign setup for this, um, this challenge, that is my own setup. You can choose whatever you like, but you need to play it at either 2.0 difficulty, 1.5 difficulty, uh, or slightly above, respectively, um, or 1.0 or slightly above difficulty. Throughout this challenge, you will only be designing eight cars in total, eight models in total, with several trims that are part of that model, or can be part of that model. You can just also design one car if you so prefer, but uh, that would make it significantly harder, I would estimate. So um, how does this work? Well, you need to make one model which reaches, one model with one at least one trim that reaches the record target speed. For 1940 to 1950, that record target speed, continuing the legacy of the Duesenberg uh, cars, would be extrapolated to 258 kilometers an hour or 160 miles an hour. That is what you need to reach with at least one trim in that model. All other trims still need to be the absolute fastest car in the world in case the other ones hadn't existed. So uh, that would make it 214 kilometers an hour faster than the Jaguar XK120. And uh, well, you see how that continues and uh, you have to design this first car in 1946, as you can see all the way to the right. Then um, you run your company just as normal and then you design the next car in 1955 
and that one at least one trim has to break 294 kilometers an hour yes it's complete bonkers and uh, to make things worse obviously the cars the the absolute record-breaking cars do need to sell they can't be just paper tigers uh, you need to sell at least 100 cars of them in order to make this a uh, legit car entry for for this challenge and uh, well we are going to uh, see this uh, play this through and hopefully succeed and not go bankrupt somewhere along the way although that w it would certainly be really difficult um, but I'm looking forward to it and let's see is there anything else that I want to uh, say oh yes right so I'm going to link the forum thread where we share our stories about playing this challenge and just communicate with other players of this challenge to see what, what solutions they came up with and where they struggled and so on. This will be a lot of fun. Also, I encourage you, uh, unfortunately, well, there is no reply to this video feature anymore. YouTube removed that years ago. Um, but I would, of course, encourage you to make your own play along series so to say for this challenge yeah I think that's it and I hope you will enjoy this challenge invite all your buddies and uh, make sure that they partake uh, uh, along with you of course and uh, see who has the bigger balls of steel to actually complete this challenge because it's going to be rough guys it's going to be super rough but fun all right, hope you enjoyed and will enjoy this challenge and see you guys for the next episode, the first episode where we build our first challenger to uh, get the new record top speed for a road car in 1946. All right, see you guys in the first episode. Cheers.